Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you're excited because today Skulls 1.3 update has arrived. As you can see with the banner here, Skulls new update comes with new skulls. There are two new skulls and an update to a pre-existing one. The Stone Monkey, you can see him right here being a badass. And we also have the Grave Digger, another new one. Both common, both common skulls. Uh, Stone Monkey is speed, Grave Digger is power. Now people have been waiting for the Grave Digger for a while since I think it was kind of hinted at from a while ago, but the Stone Monkey is completely new and I'm getting Monkey King vibes. Son Wukong, I can't believe they actually put him in the game. The information also shows that Prisoner's legendary upgrade is there, but I'm not going to show you just yet because I still want to do a video where I show off the Prisoner properly and his new legendary upgrade. Uh, but I will have a link to all of these notes, this page I'm looking at right now in the description of the video. So if you want to come in and check out all the changes yourself, feel free to do so. I'm just not going to show you guys the Prisoner's legendary form just yet in case some of you want it to be a bit of a surprise. So in addition to the two new skulls and Prisoner getting his legendary, we have had a quintessence overhaul. So we have a whole bunch of new quintessences that you can see right here. Very beautiful icons. In addition to these brand new ones, there have also been changes to the previous quintessences. So a lot of the oldies have new effects, uh, different stats and all that kind of stuff. They've all been changed. Quintessences have been revamped. Furthermore, we have new NPCs to rescue. Halfling girl, slime, and a whole bunch of priests that we can find. Look how cute she is sitting there looking at the big scary ghoul. And we have even more new rooms to go and see, new special events. Look at the size of that chest, by the way. That is a massive chest. They've also added animations for more of the food found in the store and fixed a bunch of bugs. Overall, this looks like a pretty incredible update. New skulls, new quintessences to play with, bug fixes, new NPCs, and new rooms. There's so much to dive into here. Like I said, I will leave this page that you can see right now, the patch page, in the description of the video if you want to go through and take a look at the stuff yourself feel free to go ahead but without further ado let's do a run and i can think of no better way to start than with one of the new skulls we're going to start with the stone monkey oh. now i do need to mention uh that you can unlock these skulls using the grave tender grave robber dude in the shop i forget his actual name um we also we have a grave robber skull now so i'm i'm getting mixed up and forgetting what his name is but the guy who sells you new items for Dark Quartz, you do have to pay Dark Quartz to unlock these two new skulls. Uh, but they are common, so you probably have a very good chance to find them straight away anyway. As well as the fact that they're very cheap, they cost about 140 Dark Quartz each. So get out there and get yourself these new skulls. So Stone Monkey gains power stacks when you attack an enemy with a basic attack. Inputting down and attack command will consume 20 power and summon a skeleton clone for 3 seconds. The clone swings a staff when disappearing, dealing physical damage to enemies hit. He also has warp, his swap. When swapping, charge forward and deal physical damage, and the Buddha cyclone on a 10 second cooldown, spin the staff and deal physical damage. So a speed skull that focuses very much on physical damage. Look at him go with this stick, by the way. Let's summon a clone. Ooh. Okay, so the clone does take those three seconds to, to finish. And when he does finish, he he smacks. Hmm. Let's take a look at the Buddha Cyclone. Oh! He really does just sit there and spin on him. Oh, that's incredible. Apologies, by the way, if you're expecting some of the, uh, the editing work that maybe you're accustomed to. I'm probably going to leave this run as raw as I possibly can to allow you to get the... I don't know, what, what am I trying to say here? The full experience, the full Monkey King, Monkey, Stone Monkey, Buddha, Swingin' Staff Guy experience. Look at all the clones! I just, I just popped all of my clones. Incredible. All right, we've got the, uh, the Fox NPC over here. Give me physical crit attack. Just not magic, not magic, not magic, not magic. And it amplified magic attack. But that's okay! NPCs being cruel to us aside. Yo, that Cyclone does a lick of damage. It, it does a lot. Not the Rejuvenating Root. I don't need that. I do have to test, though. Can I dash cancel this? You can dash cancel it. You don't have to sit there and have it go through the entire effect. That's incredible. I am so happy that it doesn't lock you into place. Truly. A god of his time. Clones. Oh! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Arklich! Oh no, Arklich! It's a physical run! Death Trap and March of the... No, this is a sign. 
Arklich, my favorite skull in the entire game, is giving me a blessing. He is saying, take my bones, my child. Use them. Become the Monkey King. <gasps> New Quintessence? New Quintessence? Steel Golem. Steel Fist, common. When using the Quintessence, the Steel Golem throws out a fist dealing damage. Okay. New Quintessence at the same time. I wasn't expecting to find the new one in the first shop. Um, it is a common, though. But, as it said, it throws out a fist. Let me take a look. Whoa, dude. Whoa, dude, that looks hype. Wait, this is Kobold. Oh, it's been changed. It really has been changed. Okay, updated Kobold. When you use the Quintessence, the Kobold swings its pickaxe down to deal physical damage and mines 10 gold. When you kill an enemy with the pickaxe, there's a 33% chance for a gold vein to appear. Destroying the gold vein will give you 100 gold. Hold up a minute. That sounds really good. That sounds really good. The problem is I've got the Kylian Insignia down here and I don't know if I want to maybe take the Insignia instead. I can't afford both at this point. All right, hold up. First things first, we take the Insignia. Now, this might be an incredible mistake because we've just taken a look at the new Steel Golem, right? The Steel Golem is pretty cool. The punch does decent damage. However, Kobold here is tempting me with big gains money-wise and I am so curious to see. Um... Oh, that's new. That's a cool animation. How much damage does it do? 57 damage? That's pretty generous, actually. Okay, okay. The goal is to... I need to swap into him, by the way. I haven't really shown you the swap for the little Monkey King boy. Um, the goal is to kill Paladin Dude here. Hello, victim. With Kobold. And see if we get that money to show up. There's the swap. He just dashes forward and does a bit of damage. Spin on him. Oh! Wait, can I just mine you for, for gold? I can, I can. So what is it, 10 gold every time? Okay, that's kind of stupid. That's so easy to make money. Oh wait, I should. I should, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it. What happens if you use a clone in the air? Ooh, the clone falls down. Okay, 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 okay. Clone. Get him, clone. Get him, clone. Get him, goon. Get him, my goon. Spin on him. Oh, that's so cool. Kobold. All right, we're going to Kobold this man to death. Come on, Kobold. 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 No gold vein. No! Werewolf. Face bug. Explosive ointment. Ew. We don't care about any of these, so we're going to destroy werewolf. And I am, I am very excited to be able to say that we can do a double upgrade here. But... Despite upgrading Monkey King the first time, I will show you the rare form properly before we move on into unique Monkey King. Wow, you're just going to go straight ahead and say it. Gain power stacks exactly the same as before. You can consume them to summon a clone for three seconds. The clone will attack enemies in front of it, dealing damage. It swings the staff when disappearing. So now the clones attack on their own. The Buddha Cyclone extend the staff and spin. Oh wait, what was the swap? What was the swap? When swapping summons a skeleton clone and charge four, dealing damage. All right, hold on. First, the Buddha staff. Oh, that Noibo though. Power pole extend. Hold up, gotta see what the uh, swap is like now. What? Oh, oh, dude, that's hype. Little clone dude came out. Hang on, I need to see that again. I need you guys to really see what he's doing. Look at the little clone. Oh, dude, what a little king. All right, I'm gonna sit here and build up some stacks of his clone summon. I want to get to about there. We go, sixty. So when we summon them now. Ah, they do the same thing as the uh, the swap in. Okay, so the clones. Oh wow, oh wow, that's badass. That's badass. But what's more badass than that is upgrading to unique already. Oh, I can't believe it. Thank you, Arklich, for your sacrifice. Whoa, immortal king, an unstoppable heretic of heaven. Yo, yo, stop with the badass descriptions already. I can't handle it. So he still gains his power stacks, still summons clones, of course. The clone copies the player's basic attacks and swings the staff when disappearing? You can't be serious. Magic cloud? He's got the Nimbus? He's got the cloud? When swapping, summon a skeleton clone and charge forward on a magic cloud. The Buddha Cyclone extends the magic staff and spins it around to pull in nearby enemies and deal physical damage. Occult Arts Magic Staff. Extend the magic staff and also change yourself into a magic staff to repeatedly strike and deal damage? Okay, so first the swap. I need to see what this swap is, is doing. Whoa! The clone really is copying my moves. Look at him. Ah! Oh! oh, dude, that's hype! That's so hype! 
the pole. The pole now vacuums enemies. Uh, you're not really seeing it there, but it vacuums enemies. And now this new one here. What? I became a stick. It wasn't lying. I became the stick. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I want 100 energy right now. I want 100 of this power stack stuff. Hang on, we're gonna spam all of the clones out really quick. Hold on, hold on. There's one, two, three, four, five clones. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is... Oh, dude. All right, moving on. We are going to go out and uh, cause devastation. It really does vacuum them in. Oh, that's so hype. Sticks! Wait, 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 Cobalt. I forgot about Cobalt. Oh no. Oh no. I wanna I wanna kill dudes, but at the same time, Cobalt. Yeah. Hang on. I wanna see this gold vein pop up. Yo. Can you do me a favor and turn into a go oh, I missed. You have to be really close for this. Alright, again. Damn it, dude. Give me my gold. Behold the power of the suck stick. <gasps> it pulled that man into the spikes! Get him clones. Get him clones. Oh, that's so cool, dude! I love it. Prince's box. Mutant and sprint. I don't care. I don't care. Give him the suck. Give him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the cobalt missed. No! Cobalt, please. Ah, please. More money. More money. A seven second cooldown for this is ridiculous. If I get some ruins on this to reduce the cooldown, it's going to be insane. Much like this Buddhist attack. Oh! Eaten alive, son. There we go. In the shop. <gasps> it's the new legendary quintessence! Balrog! 90 second cooldown! When you use the quintessence, draw in the power of the Lord of Hellfire and transform into the Balrog for 30 seconds, dealing physical damage to my enemies? Have to. Have to. I'm sorry, Kobold. It was fun while it lasted. Are you... Are you serious? We've got the new Legendary, and it does physical damage. The Monkey King run is going to be insane. All right, let's test the... Let's... Let's... Balrog. Dude! Dude, you changed it! Oh my god. <gasps> what the... What is this? Oh my god! This can't be fair. This is... This is broken. This is broken. This is illegal. This is illegal! Oh, wow. I think Swanesio has some competition for who might be the best quintessence in the game. Um, still vulnerable during that attack. The, uh, the magic stick one that turns you into a stick. <laughs> the clones are so good. Ah, uh, I am- I am actually- Oh, I can't wait for Yggdrasil. Poor Yiggy. Can't wait. Spin the stick. Now I have tested. If you do decide to build up your energy, much like the samurai, and get it to 100, it works just, you know, attacking the dummies over and over again. But it also keeps the energy. So if you're worried about having to spend it before you swap, don't worry. That cloud is still so cool. You'll keep 100 energy uh, regardless. Yiggy is just going to die the worst death he's ever... I'm so sorry, Yggdrasil. I am so sorry, Yggdrasil. Let's do it to him. Oh. Oh. What is this? This is rid this is ridiculous. It's got a power like tackle dash. This is this is I'm a completely new dude. Oh wait, wait, wait. Monkey King gets the kill. Get him with the spinning stick. That is insane. That is ridiculous. Sphinx Eye, I guess I'll take it. This is dummy good. This is super stupid, oh my god good. Hang on. I'm gonna summon some clones. I'm gonna spam my attack. Oh my god. Are those dudes on the other side? They're dying on the other side! Oh wow. They died over there. Magic sticks. Perish. This is ridiculous. The clones are so strong. The clones are so strong. You thought ninja's clones were a big deal. Nah, they've got nothing on the Monkey King. Wukong himself. 
if the legendary form isn't like actually just called Wukong, I'm gonna be a little disappointed. I'm kidding, I won't be. I'm actually like over the moon about this. This is this is insane. Do you have any idea how many people for the longest time have been asking for a Monkey King skull? It's been a meme in like the, the skull discord for a long time. That is ridiculous damage. They have been asking for this. And I thought to myself, yeah, it'd be a cool idea, but I don't think they'll ever actually do it. That's, it's such a specific idea. There's no way. Apparently there is a way. There is a way and it's, it's good. Not only is there a way, but the way is good. Start spamming attacks. Just, just start summoning clones. <laughs> the clones are over there killing the dudes who spawned in. Oh, the clones on a proper boss fight, like, like on Chimera. I can't wait. This is going to be the best. Oh, the vacuum on that. He's blocking. Little does he know. There's nothing else that he can do. That's Predator, I see. I'm going to swap out Little Skull, pick up Predator. Um, we also have Hydra here. By the way, like I said, all the quintessences are getting changed. When you use the quintessence, you summon the head of a Hydra. The Hydra head spews forth an acidic breath that deals physical damage and poisons enemies. This quintessence can hold up to nine charges. You can summon up to a maximum of nine Hydra heads. Perfect. It is now exactly what it should be. A multi-head acid spewing Hydra nonsense piece of work. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be keeping the Predator, by the way, I might destroy him to get the Bone Fragments for Monkey King. I am undecided, but I'm going to do some quick rerolls in the shop and try and get uh, something, something useful and usable. Oh, wait, 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 Gold Incense plus the Kyle Lane Insignia. Thank you. Don't touch. He touched me. He touched me. How dare you touch me? Bring him in. Bring him in. Bring him in. Bring him in. Aw, dude. It's so good. All right. We're going to summon clones. Summon one there. Summon one there. A whole bunch over there. Come up and kill this guy. There's clones everywhere. There's clones everywhere. What are you going to do, huh? What are you going to do about it? There's nothing you can do. That's the problem. Oh, dude. Petty Thief, you know I'm going to do? I'm going to do the swap now. I'm going to take Petty Thief, leave Predator there to be destroyed. We're going to come in. Oh, wait, that's what I should do. That's what I should do. Hang on, hang on. Nah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I can't, I can't help myself. I have to do it. It's, it's doing so much damage. This is stupid. It's interesting that it's a transforming effect too. Like you can still take damage while you're in that form. That is so cool, dude. I can't believe they did this. Hey, look, it's still Golem again. <laughs> no, not the Water Spirit, Frost Skull. Let me just get some of my, oh, wait, wait, wait. We can do it again, we can do it again, we can do it again. Oh, get him with it. Get him, Balrog. Get him, a Balrog. Oh, it's, it's so stupid. Why? Why is this legal? He's just destroying everything. He's such a goon. Up here we have Banshee, another new one. A unique solo performance. 55 second cooldown. When you use the Quintessence, the Banshee performs a Lamentation and deals magic damage to enemies over a large area, charming them for five seconds. Charmed enemies cannot move and dealing damage to charmed enemies will cause magic damage and break the effect. I'm gonna buy it right now, just so I have it. Um, and so we can see what it does. That was downright gorgeous. I have literally sat here and waited. I need to hear that again. That is beautiful. Well done. I, I can't... Well done. I can't believe they've done this. I can't believe they've done this. I'm buying the Assassin Dagger. We're a speed skull, therefore we're getting that extra attack and movement speed and the crit. Medusa up here, uh, it looks like it's had its cooldown increased a little bit by the looks of it. Maybe 37 seconds. I think it used to be about 20 or so. But uh, it still gazes ahead, deals damage and stuns enemies. I can't check it out for you, unfortunately. You know what? Just do this. Do this. Do this. Go Balrog. 
Go Balrog. Go Balrog. Go Balrog. Reminds me a bit of the Minotaur with the way that he... Like, like the way that he moves and fights. That tackle, though. He goes so far with it. No. There is no escape. Slam it. Berserker? Berserker with Bone Scream. This is a thing. Okay, okay. This is perfect. I will take Berserker with Bone Scream for a very special reason, okay? For a very special reason. Because if I shout and then I swap, Berserker's... Okay, 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 okay. That was what I was gonna say. Uh, Berserker's, Berserker's shout buff um, carries over and buffs other skulls. That's why Berserker is actually a very good support skull for others who want to attack very fast. Um, and I mean, just based on the way that the clones work and the fact that you need to do basic attacks, I think the Monkey King might be a contender for one of the best skulls to utilize. Uh, madness. Yeah, that's right, Madness. Now, if I swap, do the clones stay there? They do. I hadn't actually tested if the clones stay there or not. Oh my. Predator again? What is this? What is this? This isn't fair. Okay. Moving on. I have all my fragments. I can focus exclusively now on money rooms. Hang on. Swap to Berserker. Swap to Berserker. We're waiting on purpose. We're waiting on purpose. I need this. I need this. I need this in my life. Okay. Everyone get close together. Activate that, activate that. Summon all of your little clones. It's so cool, dude. It's so cool. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's... I, I'm just... I'm just... It's... Glorious. It is glorious. There is no other way to describe it. It is glorious. I might get rid of the clown surprise box. Yes, I'm actually considering taking the uh, the vampire fang for a second, just because of spring. Spring is kind of handy. Okay, okay. Leana sisters fight. This is wow. All right. So what I might do, I kind of want to. I want to build up my 100 energy, but I also want to use Balrog to kill one of the sisters. Not the second phase sister. The first phase, I think. So if I if I play smart, wait, I need to swap. I need to swap. I'm gonna go in and swap into. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Wow. Wow. <laughs> She's getting so bullied. Apologies if I'm quiet. I'm just. I'm looking all over the screen. I'm watching the attacks. This is cool. I'm also getting hit a lot because I'm just- I just want to sit there and do the attacks. I don't want to, like, stop. Alright, so we're attacking the, the sister with the long hair. This one. With the effect on her. Cool. I'm gonna swap over to Berserker preemptively. And get ready. We're gonna activate Balrog as soon as this sister arrives. This is the other sister, not the one I wanted, but you know what? We'll make do. Oh, lady. Wait, his basic attack does magic damage. Wow! Okay, a lot of stuff does physical. Everything does physical, except his his standing basic attack. That's so weird. That's so weird. Ugh. For that big axe. I want to save. I want to wait. I'm being so greedy. I just want to... I just want to kill this sister. There we go. Okay. We're going to bone shout. Swap to Monkey King. Activate all the clones. And then go... Just, just in. There we go, there we go. Clones, 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 clones. Yep, come down here. Come, come down here, come here. Okay, only some of the clones are hitting, but this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. She's a very mobile boss. I expected so much, as much as this to happen. There, there, get her. No, you can't get me. You can't get me. No, get out of that. Whoa. She is punishing my actions. Spin the stick on her. Spin the stick on her. All right, his, his uh, second move that turns him into a stick. Not safe if you use it at the wrong time. It's not safe. 
I'm sure you can swap out of it if you need to, as like an emergency reaction. So if you're in the middle of doing it, yeah, you can get out of it. Uh, Dark Priest Robe. I'll take that and get rid of the Sphinx Eye. It's literally just magic damage. We are going to upgrade our King into Legend itself. Legendary Monkey King. Let's go. Absolutely godlike. Overlord. Overlord. Okay, that's pretty hype. Overlord. Still gains stacks, still consumes them to summon clones. The clone will copy the player's basic attacks and skills. You've gone too far. You've gone too far with that. Those two words, and skills. You've gone too far. It swings the staff when disappearing and dealing damage to enemies hit. After using the skill, press the button to focus your mind and deal physical damage to nearby enemies. The magic staff will extend in length after you complete focusing your mind. What does that mean? When swapping, summon skeleton clones, riding magical clouds on a maximum of three enemies, dealing physical damage to the enemies after summoning the skeleton clones, get on a cloud and charge forward yourself. Yes, the Buddha Cyclone, extend the stick and spin, pulling in nearby enemies. And the occult arts extend the stuff and also change into a stuff seem to be unchanged. I have 100 of Monkey King Overlord's energy built up. I'm gonna activate the Bone Scream swap. Whoa. Hang on. Clones, clones, clones. Spin the sticks. Oh my god. Oh. They really do copy your skills. That's. That's insane. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. It does so much damage. It's not fair. Go. I can just I can just put them down there and then use my moves anywhere else and they will just hit with them. You give me pain and despair! I don't, I don't believe, get rid of the prince's box. I don't believe this run, oh my god, dude. Pain and despair at the same time. Pain and despair. You, you're having a laugh, you can't be serious. You, you can't be serious right now. I need to make sure I don't die as well. I am being very reckless because I, I, I don't care. I don't care. Um, yo, little NPC dude. Give me something incredible, please. The mace. The mace might be better than Vampire Fang, but I don't mind. I'll take this for now. Wow. So something else that you can do that I've noticed is if you just tap the skill, you get a very small version of it. So the small tap on the spin is, is still good, um, but it doesn't reach as far, I think. Whereas if you hold in the button, he charges for a second and gets bigger. So the spin on the stick is larger as well. I think it lasts a bit longer, so it might actually do more damage. I'm not sure yet. But that's, uh, no way. No way. No way. Rigged. Rigged. Okay, there's, this is ridiculous. There's, oh, okay. Get rid of the Vampire Fang. Get rid of the Carlan Insignia. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. We've got Thieves Black Steel Dagger and Master Fighter. This is ridiculous. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Yeah, I'm just gonna summon all my clones. Wow. Wow. Wow! I can't even see what's going on. What is going on? He just ate that man. Hang on, hang on, spin. It'll die. <laughs> Give me my bone fragments, lady. Don't mess with me. I'm the Monkey Kang. No. Don't mess with me. Hang on, if I... SPIN! It pulls him into the vortex. It's so good! I realize I'm playing sloppy. I'm, I'm so sorry if you're bothered by the fact that I'm playing so sloppy right now. But I, I just, I don't care. I don't care. I am enjoying this a little too much. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, 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 this is a dangerous spot to be in. What if we just summon everything and then walk away and let the clones deal with it? That's busted. No, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Ah, oh, so nice. Uh, 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 uh. 
Hey, is that a new NPC? That's a new NPC. It's the little girl. We have to rescue her. New NPC. Oh, she looks so sad. Look at her with the little ducky. I'll free you. The halfling girl. Thanks a lot. I ended up here because I was mindlessly looking for herbs. Why were you looking for herbs down in the middle of a dungeon like laboratory? That seems stupid. You look like you're the same age as me, but you're amazing. You look so brave when you were fighting. The same age as you? You have no idea how old I am. I am I am mythological age. I think we can be good friends. Hey, I'll give you a gift as a sign of our friendship. What's she giving me? Huh? I'll see you again. Bye. What is that? Fruit of love. Restores 15% HP. Oh, you're adorable. I love her. She's wonderful. I love her. That That's... Aww. I love her. <gasps> yes. This room. Okay, this is the room. This is the room. Give me, give me some, give me some, give me some. Swap really quick. Hang on, hang on. We're doing this properly. We have to do this properly. I'm gonna shout first. Come down here. Swap. Summon some clones. Oh my god. Oh my god. More clones, more clones, more clones, more clones. Spin! Ha oh, ha, dude! Sticks! This is ridiculous. Have I said it enough? Have I said it enough for it to be like stuck in your head? This is ridiculous. Sticks. All right, the sticks are the thing that's like not as good as, as other things could be. Oh wait, get rid of the draft stone. Why do I still have this? The sticks is the only thing that might be like a little bit hard to use, but I could see the potential. If you're up close and get all this stuck on a boss fight, the Chimera, I swear Chimera, you are so dead. Chimera is so dead. I'm sorry I haven't used the Balrog much either, but can you blame me? Look at what we have here. Alright, use sticks. <gasps> oh my god! They were in the sky! Did you see the fall? They were stuck in the sky! Okay, the spinning stick. The Buddhist staff, the Buddhist, Buddhist cyclone, is mental. <gasps> Arc demon! Arc demon! Legendary, release a soul. 76 second cooldown. They've increased the cooldown on that. When you use the Quintessence, the Arc Demon opens the gates of the afterlife to deal magic damage. The further the enemy is from the Arc Demon, the more damage they take. Okay, I, I'm, I, Arc Demon is my bay. all right? I need to see what this is doing right now. I need to see. What? Oh my god! It's different entirely! I think I haven't mentioned either, but it's a good time to mention that the Quintessences, seemingly none of them have uh, passive stat modifiers on them anymore. So Arc Demon doesn't have the, the 60 HP, and none of the others have like a, a regular stat. They just have really good effects, it seems. Hang on, I'm showing you that again. All right, Arc Demon, show them what you're made of. How far does that go? That's going like full screen. That's going like full screen. I can't wait, there's so much stuff. The Quintessence change alone, I thought it was all about the new skulls, but the Quintessence stuff is also incredibly exciting and hype. Get him with a stick. Spin. I, I stood in explosions when I really shouldn't have. Kill this guy. Spin on him. Stick. Wait a minute, I, I have to test this. Can Monkey King do the skip thanks to his cloud? He can do the skip thanks to the cloud! Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Spin on him. He's, he's perfect. He's perfect. The skull is, is basically perfect. Overlord Monkey King dude is, is perfect. What do we have up here? A new quintessence. Another one. It's Wisp. Unique. 40 second cooldown. When you use the quintessence, you and the Wisp will become linked. And all your skill and rotation cooldowns will be reset? Pardon. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. So if I... Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. We'll set this up. We'll set this up. So if I swap in... Hang on. Let me do all my skills. Let me swap in. Let me just activate skills. And now activate Wisp. It instantly resets cooldowns. Even the swap cooldown, it just instantly resets everything. The implications of this Quintessence alone is staggering. The idea that it is resetting cooldowns instantly is kind of ridiculous. 
There are a lot of skulls out there. I'm thinking about Arklich with his seal. Sorry, with his uh, death trap. I'm thinking about Berserker's transformation effect cooldown. There are skulls out there that have big cooldowns. Rockstar. Does that reset all three charges of the amps? All of them? So you could activate three amps during the band. Pop Wisp. Drop three more for more. Dude, the implicate. Dude. I also have to apologize to Balrog. It's an incredible quintessence, but Wisp actually has ridiculous potential, and I need to see what this thing can do. Um, I also need Thief Armor because with the basic attack stuff we're doing right now, this just seems like a no-brainer. We'll get rid of the gold incense burner for now. We're taking all gold rooms now, so this should be easy. Rake of Fury. I'll take it. I'll take it. Get rid of the Dark Priest Roy. We don't need that right now. We don't need that. I've got four in Madness. We've got four in Madness. That's perfect. That's perfect. I love it. I love it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Um, no, I'm going down here. We're going to fight. We're going to scrap. We're going to duke it out. We're going to duke it out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Wanna fight? Wanna fight? Wanna fight? Sticks! I don't believe how cool he is! I don't believe how cool he is. He's so cool. Alright, hang on, hang on, hang on. We'll try out the wisp. We'll try out the wisp. Ready? 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 Summon. Sticks. Sticks again. Oh, it's so cool. I should have used both cooldowns. Quick stick spin. Dude, he's going so fast, too. He just doesn't stop. Hello, fools. Hello. Oh, you're all dead. You're all dead. You're all dead. Hello, you're all dead. We summon some clones. Spin the stick. It's not fair. It's not fair. He shouldn't be allowed to be this, this, this cool at the same time. I, I... He's, he's hitting so hard, too! I went into the, I went into the spikes. <laughs> Spin! <laughs> I shouldn't be wasting all my clones like that, but I don't care. Oh, do I use the reroll NPC? I've got some money, you know what? I should do the reroll NPC and see what else he has. This is a showcase. This is a showcase. I should do the smart thing. All right. We'll free the NPC. If I get my spin again, I'll be happy either way. So what else can he do? <gasps> oh, those are both new. Okay, okay. Two new skills. All right. Heaven Earth Slam. Extend the magic staff and slam it down, dealing damage and stunning the enemy. Quickly show you that one. All right. That's very short range. I bet there's a charge for it, though. So if I hold it... Oh, yeah. Much bigger range. Much bigger range. That's going to stun enemies. Does that mean my clones would stun them too? Can the clones stun enemies with all of their hits? And then rapid thrust, extend the staff and thrust forward, dealing physical damage. Tap the button again to repeatedly thrust. Oh, dude. Dude, 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 dude. Hang on. <gasps> it goes so far when you hold it in! That's nonsense. Okay, let me let me let me re-roll again. Let me re-roll again. Let me do it again. Let me do it again. Okay, we went back to the same two. So maybe there's four abilities. Are there four skills for him? Um Rapid Thrust and Buddha Cyclone. Okay, it looks like there's still only four four moves. So I'm gonna go with these. Hang on, hang on. Poke. Poke him. Poke him. Hit him with the pokes. Hit him with the pokes. It's, it's, I, I don't believe this. I'm on my way down to the Chimera fight. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to, like, stack up and keep, um, maximum stacks of his energy. So we're going to start with Berserker and swap out and kind of go into really fast physical attack and try and build some clones as quickly as we can and nuke the Chimera down with our skills once we're ready. So if I do this and then do this, he is attacking so quickly. Hang on, hang on, spin. Spin again. He just did so much damage. He just, he just did so much damage. I took a lot of damage, but he did a lot of damage. I'm being reckless. Summon all of that. And now, spin. 
Amazing. Amazing. Amazing, 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 amazing. Contaminator core. He gave me the core. Ooh. I, I might get rid of Thief Armor. I think Thief Armor is just not holding up at this point. I'm using skill damage at the same time, so it's not all about that, that basic attack anymore. I mean, it still is very much basic attack, but the fact that his skills get so much good use. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up, buddies, hold up. Let me use you as some fodder to build my energy to 100 immediately. Yo. Spin. Get poked. Get poked. Get spun on. Get spun on. Die. Die. That's right. Suffer. Poke. <gasps> that was insane. His basic attack is actually doing a lot of damage. Like, way more damage than his skills by the looks of it. A am I the only one seeing that? That his basic looks like it's... No, I don't need that. Doing a lot more damage. There were explosive dudes in there. I should have known better. He's going so fast. I don't... That's insane! The vortex from the little guys pulls them in as well, and then the poke does that much damage? This is ridiculous. This is this is actually unfair. Um, I'm going to get some food real quick also. The animation on this molten DC cake, by the way. Give me that cake. Um, if I re-roll, I can't afford anything else there anyway, so we'll just move on. Oh, I should have looked at the quintessence. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should have looked at that quintessence to see what changed. My bad. We've got time. We've got so much time to go over these new abilities from the quintessences, though. Spin. This is insane! He's so strong! He has no right to be this strong. Look how fast they're moving! This isn't even at 7 out of 7 madness. If you got maximum madness on this... I, I despair to think how much better this could be with, with maximum madness. Hang on, if I come up here, I drop a clone. <laughs> Get ready for that bone scream. Swap. I... I... The speed. The speed. The whole game lagged out. I did the spin, the whole game lagged out. That was... That's so much, dude. Okay, adventurer fight. I'm... I'm a little worried I might die because I'm being so super reckless. <gasps> it's healer girl. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Let me injure you severely. All right. All right. Activate that. Do it, do it, do it. She's going to move. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, spin. I'm just going to do it again. Spin again. Oh my god. <laughs> so much damage, dude. I got I got touched. I shouldn't have gotten touched though. He swings so fast. Just summon the clones. I can just sit over here. I don't have to be there. I can just let the clones kill her in the corner for me. Centaurus! Oh, you look different, dude. Javelin, 25 second cooldown. Rare. When you use the Quintessence Centaurus, those are speeded to physical damage cause bleeding. Recovering the speed will reduce the cooldown by 10 seconds. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, I am just going to maybe get rid of Wind Armor and get some money for it instead. Get some cash. Wait, the lady's dead up here? You ended up up here? Did you get juggled or what? Okay, okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh. Pokey stick. And he's dead. The voodoo doll. Yo, I might actually take the voodoo doll. I will take the voodoo doll instead of the ring of wind right now. Dude upstairs. About to do stuff I don't like. Come here. Is that another new NPC I see here? I think it is. Hang on. It's a slime. It's like a little king slime. Hello? <gasps> Magical slime! You're small and weak looking, but you're actually pretty strong, aren't you? Thanks for saving me. Wow, thank you for calling the, the Monkey King weak. 
I was almost used by those guys without being able to do anything. Since you saved me, I'll repay you with magic. Let's see. Hmm, hey, that thing you have. It's pretty cool. I choose that one. Huh? What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, oh, oh. He gave me a second Dude's Black Steel Dagger! He gives duplicate items! Oh, dude. Please tell me this stacks. Please tell me this stacks. Please tell me this stacks. Um, Get rid of the bracelet. Please tell me this. I have six madness. I have six madness. Please, please tell me the stacks. I have two stacks of it. I have two stacks of it. I have two stacks of it. Broken. Broken. Slime is king. Slime god. Little slime is, is the best. Broken. 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 I have 240 stacks. 240 stacks. So Thieves Black Steel Dagger gives you 2% crit stacking up to 20 times. That's 40. So with both of these stacks, I have an 80% crit chance. 80%. 90 if we include the 10% crit from Assassin's Dagger. I don't believe what I'm seeing here. The lag! The lag! Did you see the lag? I have so many clones. I have so many clones. Oh my god, I have so many clones. Did it pull them up from below? Oh, I have so many clones. And I oh my god, I don't believe how many clones I have. Prisoner! No, dude. Not like this. Not like this. It is Balrog again. I can get him back. Um, no, Balrog. Not like this. Uh, DC cake. Give me some life back. Oh. Oh, I don't believe. Oh, it's so. Oh, I don't believe how good this is. If the clones are behind them, does that. I have to test that. If the clones are behind them, it might actually work. I, I gotta get rid of the bomb, right? Contaminated core. The attack speed. No, I gotta get rid of the bomb. I'm just being so greedy. I just wanna use the skills. And I really shouldn't be that greedy with it. I know, I know, but I am. Have you met me? Alright, Joan fight time. I promise I will do my best to not completely suck. <laughs> I promise I will do my best to not completely suck. And do, and do good. Alright. Okay, there's already a lot on the screen. Spin. Oh, it's a lot of spinning. Don't blow up on me, don't blow up on me, don't blow up on me. Alright, I want to save. I want to save and get maximum energy. Alright, I can afford to spend a little bit. I can afford to spend a little bit. I'll spend one. No. Don't. Don't blow up on me. Don't do it. Hold on. I put the clone there, and then I move away, and I just spam attacks. I'm still hitting it. There. There we go. There we go. Okay, swap in. Get ready for Berserker. We activate the Howl. We swap into the Monkey King. We drop the clones near her. We summon all the clones, and we, we, just, we just blow her up. No! You suck. You suck. Why would you do this? Get down here. Get down here right now. Don't ru You're ruining... Again? Really? 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 I don't believe you. Alright. I get it. I get it. You're scared. Let me get my 100 energy. Stop it, lady. Lady. Nah, she's ruining this. She's ruining this! 
I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Ah, that's my voodoo doll. There's some damage. Hang on, swap to Berserker. Ow. Don't. Lady. No! She died too soon! Ah, oh, I just wanted to do all the summons and do the cool stuff and she wouldn't let me. Yo, Arc Demon, what's up? Oh, she just wouldn't let me do it. Alright, last shop. Oh, are you kidding me? Give me Forbidden Sword now. Do you have any idea? Any idea how powerful? Actually. Wait, why am I missing an item? Oh, my voodoo doll. Wait, I can take Forbidden Sword now. If not for any other reason than just to get to 7 Madness. A it worked out in the end. Look at that. And we've also got Phantom. A new quintessence up here. Let me buy it real quick. Let's take a look. What's it do? 10 second cooldown. When you use the quintessence, you dodge enemy attacks for one second. When you dodge an enemy attack using phantom magic, you summon a phantom that deals physical damage and stuns the enemies in front. It's a counter. Okay, so I've seen a lot of the wisp. Um, the skill cooldown effect of the wisp for Monkey King. I'm, I'm more just spamming basic attacks at this point. But this is a really, really big deal wisp right now. Okay, wisp on, on the right skulls is going to be ridiculous. On, on rider, double bike. Um, the, the possibilities are ridiculous with this. Let me quickly buy the Manatech Baguette, get some life back, and I'll take this new Quintessence and go see what it can do in the next room against some of these, these big statue guys. Yo, statue guys. Oh, I see, I see. That's cute, I like that. Yo, that's actually kind of cool. That's good crowd control right there. Yo, spin on him. Okay, it's that time. I have to say thank you very much to all of you for being here. And uh, being a part of this wonderful new update with these great new changes. New skulls. New Damn, the, the attack speed is so fast. He is just juggling. He is just juggling. If I add Berserker's buff to this, this is going to be ridiculous speed. I'm sad that I couldn't get Kyrian maxed out, but... It doesn't matter. At this point, it doesn't. Look at the speed. Look at the speed. He is just, he's just, he's hitting them so fast they can't even stay on the ground. I hope that you've enjoyed witnessing the Monkey King gradually come to seven madness with the help of Berserker to give some more attack speed and double Thieves Black Steel Dagger. This has been a treat for me. I hope it's been a treat for you. Uh, let's swap into the Berserker. Let's head in there, activate big attack speed, summon clones, and really give daddy something to think about. Put down the receipts. I'm about to give you your change. Oh my god. I evaded it with the power of the quintessence. Pipe. Pipe. Spin the stick. Pipe. He doesn't care. Wait, if I'm spinning the- wait. Yeah. Power evasion. If I'm spinning the stick, and I activate that quintessence. Will that save me? Will that will that actually save me from it? I need to test that. It is so important that I test that. Activate that real quick. Oh, get out of that. Oh, dude, that's cool. Hang on, I need to test the stick thing. I need to test the stick thing. I'll just summon the sticks down near him. No, summon the, the minions. <laughs> summon sticks. Wait. It, it does. It protected me. We have a way of making ourselves safe during animations that are long. Okay, this quintessence is a big deal. That's a big deal, dude. That's a big deal. This parry, it's a big deal. Yeah, spin on him. What? But I parried that. Maybe I didn't parry it facing forward or something? I don't know. Whack! Alright, alright, father. I need to be really careful now. Bully him. I can't see where he's going. Where is he going? I can't see anything. Evade that. Power of my 
My awesome new contestants. No. 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 Don't even. Don't even. Don't do it. Evade that. Spin on him! Park him! Oh! Dude, it's so much damage! Did you see the damage? You could set up on him. You set up all the clones on him and then just hit him with the big stuff at the end. Ah, oh, it's so good. It's so good. Yo, prepare. Prepare yourself, father. No. Swap out. Don't. No grabbing. No grabbing. Grabbing is mean and bad. Nobody likes a grabber. I popped my thingo though. Alright, spin on him. Poke him. It did so much damage! The power of the Mankey Kang. And there you go, Monkey King, new update. Once again, a reminder, I'll have the notes of all the changes and the updates in the description down below. Check that out if you want to give it a good read. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed the Monkey King. And next time around, in the next run that you'll see, will be this guy right in front of us right here. The Grave Digger. The second of the new skulls that have been added to the game. And uh, hopefully sometime soon, The Prisoner. But, with all of that said and done, I've got to get out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.